Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I am doing a... Sorry, my lip just suddenly itched. That was really weird. <laughs> um, anyway, let's, I'm going to do a slightly smoky eye and using the infamous Satin Taupe Eyeshadow by MAC. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and obviously done this eye, but I already did my primer and... Which was my Urban Decay primer potion. And then this um, paint pot by MAC called Groundwork. It's just a nice flat brown. It's a good, uh, I like it for a base. And I just put it all over my lid and then just kind of blended it up into my eyebrow. Or not to my eyebrow, but up further past my crease. And we're going to take um, a flat shader brush. Doesn't matter, whatever kind you have. And just pack it all over the lid. Just on the lid. We're not going to take it up into the crease or anything. And take it underneath. And kind of um, flip it over. Whichever side is clean that you haven't used and take the color Mystery. Which is a nice... I really like this brown. It's probably one of my favorites because it's a cool... Got something on my thumb. It's a cool tone brown and I like cool tones. I'm a, my skin's a little bit cooler tone so it kind of looks a little better. But just take it on there. You just kind of close your eye and then just bring it in and take it down along the lash line. Pull it like almost halfway in and kind of blend it up there. And then take it on the lower. And then if you want to uh, take a 217 and give it a little bit of a blend, we'll be doing quite a bit of blending so that way it looks more like this not excuse me very harsh to be but you know what I mean it'll just look better <laughs> but anyway I got Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil in perversion and I'm going to do my lower waterline and my upper Yes, the upper feels really weird, but you know, you just do it anyway. And then I'm going to take, um, get it out, Max Carbon, which is, it's a good matte black, but there is blacker blacks out there than this. Like it's a good one. I like it. I'm going to take it on a 226 brush. A little bit more tapered than fluffy. Just run it along the lower lash line and then just kind of put it in the crease. And bring it in. If your eyes are a little bit more hooded like mine, you can open your eye and then get it in there. My nose started running too. Mm. I'm sorry. And then just take it along the lower lash line. And this lower lash line, but I meant like the lower of the upper lash line. And then take a 217 and probably just um, whatever crease color you have, but I have Omega. It's a, it's a little bit cooler of a brown. And, and then Take it and then just blend everything to the desired consistency or non-harshness or harshness that you want. Take a flat brush. This is a MAC 212. 
I'm not gonna put any water or water <laughs> eyeliner anywhere other than just on the waterline. So and we're gonna take this and kind of tight line just a little. And then you can take your 226 again and just give it a little bit more of a blend. Really putting that black on the outer corner. And then take the 217 and blend that line again. And then take um, any other clean eyeshadow brush that you have. And this is the Urban Decay Shadow one. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of Virgin and Naked. So I'm going to go like Virgin, Naked, Virgin. I'm going to put this in my brow bone. Just kind of flip it over and pull it down a little. You can give it a little bit more of a blend if you want. Maybe I need a little more virgin. I didn't show up very well. <laughs> but yeah. And then any mascara that you want. I've been really liking the Voluminous False la Fiber False Fiber Lashes. I think this is by L'Oreal. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it's by L'Oreal. And just Put on a couple coats of that or whatever mascara, like don't run out and buy a new mascara. If you have a wonderful one, then just use that. I went ahead and did, obviously, all the rest of my makeup for saving time. So that way my videos aren't so so long but I use my um, Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer and my Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation one of my favorites and for contour and shape I use the Hoola bronzer by Benefit I really like the brush that it comes with like a nice little it's good to get it in there in that contour area and put another coat on, get the lower, forgot the lower ones on my other side. I've had this mascara for quite a while, it's actually been just sitting here for a while and then I used it a couple days ago and I was really impressed with it like I really it stayed on really well on my bottom lashes normally mascara on my bottom lashes doesn't last very well and this one lasted very well I was very happy with it and since it is such a dark high I'm gonna like really highlight underneath here not really but draw a little bit more attention to it than I have been it's my Mac Pro Longwear Concealer concealer I really can't talk today and um, NW I know this is 10 but it doesn't say 10 and just get a little like a little that's all that I need and that's still that's still too much but I just use my finger get it under there and pat it and clean up the lines a little This could be a wearable evening, fall look. I mean, I wear a smoky eye any time of day. I don't really care if it's before noon. I'll I'll wear a smoky eye. It doesn't. I'm not scared to highlight a little bit above the brow bone if you want. Don't have to. I just have concealer on my hand, and figured why not.
can't believe like fall is right around the corner. Don't like winter. But oh well. Take a um, Mac Emphasize and a um, just a Real Techniques setting brush and just set it. it doesn't go anywhere pat it on there like don't swipe it like I swiped it because I had a little bit that it didn't blend out but you pat don't don't swipe you just swipe away all the makeup that you put on it but anyway I use my um, I don't know where it went I just had it a minute ago no found it um, the Luminoso blush by Milani. Love this blush. It's so, so lovely. For a good, it's a good drugstore one, and I want to get, I want to get more colors like these. I just I haven't found Milani where I live yet since I've moved. I haven't found it. But um, take New Delight by Rimmel, which is what I've been wearing a lot lately. Any kind of light pink that you have. I have this one by NARS. It's called Turkish Delight. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink color, but it stinks. Like, I don't like the smell of NARS the glosses. Ugh. Ugh. It smells like I like the smell of makeup. I think it smells really good, but this stuff is nasty. Let's put it on there. I've been, I haven't even been really doing bronzer. I've just kind of been doing it as a highlight. Summer, or summer's almost over and stuff. So just a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder or whatever powder you like and set everything. And well, I'll just leave my hair up because my hair is a mess. I won't show you guys my hair. But uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys later. Bye.